Hi, it's Terry from the Star Morning Show, and I am here to introduce you to another outstanding metro area teacher. It is our 22nd year of doing Star 104.5 Teacher of the Week, and our teacher this week is Mrs. Jenny McGargle. She is a kindergarten teacher at Portal Elementary in La Vista. Hi, Mrs. McGargle. How are you? Hi, good. How are you? Great. So we received a really lovely letter from um, one of the parents of one of your students. I'm going to read a little bit of that to you. It says, Mrs. McGargle has been the most amazing teacher for our son. We decided to wait a year for kindergarten due to the pandemic, and she has given us peace of mind, sending him to school each and every day of the year. Our son has made leaps and bounds of growth being in her class. It actually brings tears to my eyes knowing that kindergarten is almost over. Her relationship building while still having high expectations of her students is what sets her apart. And she is so deserving of this recognition. So there you go. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very you much. To know with all the craziness that's been going on, you're so appreciated by not only your students, but parents alike. So yes. that's why we love to honor teachers. So Mrs. McGargle, tell me what has been the biggest challenge for you the past couple of years being a kindergarten teacher? Um, I would say definitely the masks um, and keeping kids apart. We This year, we finally got to start to put kids back together again, but we had to eat lunch in our classrooms. Um, we couldn't have like specials like gym or music had to be in our classrooms for a while because we the first year and now we've kind of gotten to the point where we can now um, be more together and those masks. Um, kindergarten, it's hard because you have to teach them how to cough and sneeze all over again because they are used to coughing in their mask or sneezing. So definitely by far um, the mask and just the pandemic, um, you know, they're so resilient though. They don't really know any different and they've just done a really, really good job transitioning and just kind of go with the flow. So it's, you would th think that kindergarten was the hardest, but it actually hasn't been too bad. That's great. So tell me on the flip side of that, what is one of the bright spots we've had the past year. So just something that's really stood out as being, you know, unexpectedly like, wow, this is really great. Um, I definitely would say the growth in the kids, you know, you we were concerned about just a lot of kids were home or didn't get a chance to go to preschool or um, that kind of a thing. Um, we do map scores and map testing in kindergarten and um, we are grade level actually tested first and out of a lot of schools so we were pretty excited for that and it just kind of shows yes thank you it just kind of shows the growth that they have and all the hard work that these little kiddos put in each and every day and their parents too so yeah that's really really great to hear so I have a couple of like questions just get to know you questions first okay. of all I wanted to ask you are you a dog person or a cat person Definitely a dog person. Big dogs. Oh, big dogs. Okay. Yes. Yes. Big dog too. She likes um, the greyhound dog. She yes. Loves them. I have a Bernice Mountain dog. So oh, wow, those are yeah. beautiful. Yeah, That's great. Okay, what is your favorite movie or TV show? When you want to escape and you just want to watch something, what do you? What's your go-to? Um, you know. We are a big, huge sports family, so we watch a lot of baseball. We watch American Idol, and uh, we're not home a lot, so by the time I get home, I'm usually watching the news and going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I with you on that. <laughs> yeah, we're not too exciting on the TV world at our house, so yeah. Yeah, American Idol is actually really good this year. I was watching it. Yeah. Some good talent this year. Okay, what do you love on your pizza? What's your favorite thing to have on it? You know, I love hamburger probably i'm pretty boring pretty <laughs> pretty plain jane so no, yeah hamburger is great and finally i wanted to ask you mrs mcgargle what is your favorite thing about teaching definitely just the love of the kids uh, the hugs just seeing that growth especially in kindergarten you just see them come in barely knowing any letters to leaving reading um, and just them always saying I can't read and then just knowing at the end of the year they can and just they're so loving and caring and resilient and that's obviously the best part I've been doing this for 22 years so it's I love the little ones and I love the fact of the smile they give me every day and of course the stories I get to go home with too. <laughs> Yeah, stories are a big part of it. I agree. You never, you never know, but there's always a great, great. Yeah, story. those connections, and it's fun to see my kid is a, a high schooler, and 
he is friends with a lot of my past students. So just having that connection still with all of those kids has been nice. So yeah. I was wondering, you know, if you've been doing it 22 years, yeah, they probably are big grown up now. Yep. So you get to see yeah. them. That's gotta be very rewarding for you too. Yes. It was interesting because when I set up Teacher of the Week, um, I was talking to your principal and he's actually a former Teacher of the Week. Yes, he is. he is. He is. He is. Mr. Strom, yes, he was the star of the week in 2011, he said, and he showed me his plaque. He, so yeah. he said, welcome to the club. So yeah. yeah. So we are going to welcome you to the club because we have, this is our new plaque, so to speak. It's our Star 104.5 Teacher of the Week Award from Regal Awards. So we've got Thank that for you. you. And we also have, uh, one of the reasons I asked you about pizza is we have a Zio's pizza gift card for you. So oh, you and your family you so can enjoy some delicious pizza. You can take a night off from cooking and just enjoy it. So I want to thank you again and congratulate you, Mrs. Uh, Jenny McGargle, again, kindergarten teacher at Portal Elementary School. So thank you for all you do. You're a hero to us and I'm sure to your students as well. Thank you. I really appreciate you doing this. Thank you, thank you so much.